morning to our lecture, Dr. Najima in January. I am Kwan Harina Gajizana. I'm going to talk about how the internet can be used for education. The internet, by definition, is a connection of websites, page, software, forums, blogs, and others. These days, development of broadband technology has enabled internet connections around the country. This means the internet coverage can now be used by all. As a teacher, I think this is a very good advantage for us to engage our teaching method and a step forward to another level of teaching. The question is how the internet can be used for education. First of all, we can use the internet as an educational tool according to its infinity and limitless sources of knowledge. Students can online and search the websites that are relevant to the subjects. They can also explore e-books or e-library where they can find many information in it so they can save their time. For example, students can use Google Translate as a replacement of a dictionary to find the meaning of words in English, Malay, Korean, French, and etc. For students who may not be interested in reading but love computer, online books can be a helpful teaching tool. Secondly, I found that using YouTube can trigger the excitement of learning among students. It can make learning as an interesting activity. Many academic activities such as the lectures, interviews, demonstrations and other activities can be available for students to view and it tends to be a classroom based in teaching and learning. Some students are visual learners. They learn by seeing. YouTube allows them to go visual scenes of a different places in the world. Watch some things live from their computer search as places that close in a world metamorphosis of a fox. Discovery of the world, national geography, spatial, and so on. They can review as many times as they like and they can take more time as they want. Thirdly, students can communicate with international students all over the world, which they can gain knowledge and experience, participate in chat rooms, share ideas and solutions, and learn about many, many different culture out there. In addition, the interactive learning that the internet provides can help students to learn not only English language but also other subjects such as mathematics, science, geography and so on. Moreover, teachers can adjust the teaching methods to the different learning styles in the classroom. The interesting thing is students can also set their own pace of learning. One particular feature is the new teachers' websites that are currently available on the internet. It is a collection of ready lesson plans and suggested activities on a array of topics. They can be some of the way for teachers to this can be some of the ways for teachers to diversify the activities and generate more ideas. Books and materials for teachers and students can also be located and purchased online. Moreover, the computer software such as Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint can be used by students to present their work. They are not only practice this essential skill of word processing but also can edit more and more easily to produce as well crafted piece of writing. These skills are useful to students not only for accomplishing 
flashing their homework but also as a survival skill in the modern workplace. Literacy games are also available online and teachers or students can download them as well as for the reviews of educational software programs. As a conclusion, when teachers become aware of how to find information online, they can help their students and themselves to begin to tap into their viewed resources. Using the internet can make teachers' life simpler and can provide more information and resources than ever available before. The internet is a way for students and teachers to learn and to connect with others. Last but not least, the internet can just play fun for students and teachers alike. That's all for now.